side, now including Vince Hilaire, signed from Luton last month. Billy Gilbert is still missing from the centre of the defence, so they can't afford any distractions for Noel Blake this afternoon, because Blake has wanted to leave the club after ignorant taunts from a section of the crowd in recent matches. It's Oxford United's first outing since they were named Club of the Year. Peter Rhodes-Brown is suspended, so George Lawrence has another chance to re-establish himself in support of the 32-goal pairing in attack, John Aldridge and Billy Hamilton. The referee is Martin Boddenham from Brighton. We joined the match at the start of the second half. The first half had been a bit disappointing. We now build to quite a climax, though. Portsmouth are in blue. The roar from the Fratton end reaches Portsmouth at the start of the second half. Having conceded nine goals in their last four games, they'll be pleased with a clean score sheet at this point. And a sternly hit back pass by Langham. Very tight on Lawrence, and it's Jim Smith, the Oxford United manager, who, on his way down to the dugout, will turn the ball quickly for the throw. And popularly known throughout football as the Bald Eagle. A stupe touch from Webb, sent forward by Dillon. And it's kind of wrestling by Briggs, but Bailey was jumping into him in the first place. Hebert fouled by a late tackle from Kennedy. Beautiful look at the back of the calf. Where Kennedy made contact. Lawrence, of course, does add extra height for Oxford United at set plays. So too does Briggs. And Hamilton! That was a superb save with Portsmouth slipping and sliding. And Hamilton swung into the shot and brilliantly turned away, fingertips, by Alan Knight. Bobby McDonald's always a character to look out for at set pieces. George Lawrence right in to distract the goalkeeper. And Lawrence off the line! By Kennedy. Lawrence the second time, shot him, and it's over. Certainly the closest that Oxford have come, because this time they did beat Alan Knight. Kevin Brock's corner, and it was Lawrence who got the second touch, Kennedy there by the post. Tate. <laughs> Lawrence trying to about some of the medicine he's been receiving. Truick almost finding a way through the middle. Hebert. Now Langen. Just aim for Hamilton and for Brock. Oxford have scored. Kevin Brock coming in at the far post. At the midway point in the second half. The deep cross from Langen was certainly aimed for Hamilton. And defenders looked for him and neglected Brock, who squeezed it in. So Knight is left to reflect that Portsmouth have yet again gone behind on their own ground. It's happened so much to them in recent games at Fratton Park. They've usually come up with a solution. Can they manage here? Webb. And Hardwick beaten to it by Morgan. And the goalkeeper was fortunate that those around him were alert. Portsmouth have a corner. Hardwick was rushing off his line.
Blake on the near post. Bobby McDonald with a good defensive header. He is a spring heel player. And now Lawrence has lost his balance, but Aldridge coming from inside his own half can take it up. Kennedy pursuing him. And Stanley! What a chapter of events. Gary Stanley, who says that he put through his own goal when the two teams met at Oxford, although that goal has now been credited to Billy Hamilton. But Aldridge was away, and then Stanley almost chipped his own keeper. Portman must start again. Pattern for much of the game. Taking nothing away from Oxford, who certainly played well. Morgan. Squeezes through for Bailey. Hilaire. Goes back. Stanley. And Blake. Hardwick to the rescue for Oxford. Blake operating now as an auxiliary attacker. Portsmouth really just hoping that something will drop for them now in the penalty area in the late stages of the game. The merest of contact from Blake. Hebert still full of running. The try is, of course, an important one for Oxford United. Will bring every drop of energy out of their players to hang on to this lead. Portsmouth know that the gap will open up with three points pass them by. Stanley. A weak cross. Lawrence. And it's Oxford's turn to give the ball away. Hilaire. Blake. Now Webb, Blake immediately darting in for the cross. And Bailey! It's come at long last! Well, Alan Bailey is on the transfer list at his own request. But those at the front end don't want to see him go. And Alan Ball realises that the pressure has paid off. Two minutes remaining, and Noel Blake, playing now as a striker, started it all off. You could see Bailey darting off into the middle the moment the ball reached Webb because he knew a cross was coming in. And the glancing header did the trick. And Portsmouth, believe it or not, have found the goal that they wanted yet again at the front end. Jim Smith, completely different emotions. Absolutely furious. Unless his side can regain the lead in the little time that remains. Lawrence. Past Tate, who's pulled him down, has he? There was certainly an arm wrapped round Lawrence. Martin Bodenham, the referee, was very close to the episode. Lawrence is still down. But all the Portsmouth supporters now are thinking about as Lawrence hopes that the game is stopped for treatment. Hilaire. A corner it is. Barely time for it to be taken. And Bailey's closed again. Oh, my word! They can hardly believe it. There's no way, surely, that Alan Bailey will be allowed to leave Portsmouth now. Two goals for him in the last two minutes. Alan 
Ball absolutely thrilled inside, although he's keeping the emotions under control. Bailey sneaked it in at the near post. A second header. And that's what goal scoring is all about, really. He's something of a flamboyant character. But wait a minute. And Aldridge. And Dylan to the rescue, is he? It's all gone wrong for Oxford. And that's because Alan Bailey, after a quiet second half, has come to life with two goals in two minutes. It's off the bar. Back from Lawrence and wide. It's hard to keep track. And it was Hamilton who had the shot that beat Knight and came out of the bar. It's all over. Defeat has turned into victory. Thanks to Alan Viley for Portsmouth. The Fratlanders will enjoy their Christmas with extra relish. Viley's goals in the 88th minute and the 90th minute have lifted Portsmouth above Oxford United in the second division table. It's only Oxford's third loss in the league this season. And it remains a magnificent year for Jim Smith and his players despite today's event.